Easy all, this is for anyone who's interested in getting a Novation Twitch on finding out a bit more about it. Also, anybody who uses Virtual DJ or is interested in getting it. Right, I'm going to try and just go through this because uh, I know I'll end up waffling, so I'm going to try not to in written. Um, uh, I'm going to, yeah. Personally, I would say get Virtual DJ. I know a lot of people diss it. Hell knows why. It looks a bit meh, right? But it's got like at least three things that Tractor and Serato don't have, which like a Supreme. Um, because of that, I'm going to give you a quick briefing on virtual DJ and then I'll get to Twitch blah blah I use a normal setup I don't bother with all that f fancy skins that's up to you but I, I like this setup it, it works it does what it says on the box it's, it's got the best sync that I've ever heard of any you you show the downbeat and it works out the transients from that downbeat um, if you have say some old disco record where it's tempo drifting all over the place or you've got two disco records you could actually mix them you can't do that on tractor because the beat grid's locked it gives you false tempos on house tracks I mean house tracks 4-4 four, four, and it gives you false temp anyway that's another thing um, Serato has got more flexible but you have to put grid points in you can read key but it's not only got that it's got key adjustment so for example if you have a track what's in C minor right and you've got another track what's in D minor you can adjust it so that they're both in D minor and um, it's or, or obviously the key lock so they'll be at the same tempo same key which is an amazing feat anyway that's virtual DJ go have a look at it if you're interested you're not the only thing you need to do is you need to make sure you've got the um, right direct X I think under Mac I think it's fine under Mac I think it's only under PC as um, the case usually is anyway back to this you get all the mappings for uh, Serato itch and you get all the mappings for tractor as well and you can tweak with that you can do certain things you can remap it if you understand how it works you can remap it to do with nearly anything then I have to I have to salute the native instruments for that but when it comes to actually stuff what's gonna pay the bills I'm a virtual DJ okay kid. I'm gonna try and keep this <laughs> quite brief and but show you why it's definitely worth looking at virtual DJ and twitch right I'm gonna load up some tunes some of them I haven't queued yet we'll just see what comes up if you're not into breaks that's cool if you're in the house or Dance music or anything 21st century or 20th century or electronic music is a walk in the park. If you do anything like breaks or old grooves or you mix between breaks and dance music or anything like that, then this is why it's definitely worth taking a look at this to show you what I mean about this. So what we've got is, we've got eight cue points. The H uh, hot cue I've actually set as a um, BPM counter what you can do is is do loops and the thing the other thing about this is that's tight listen how tight that loop is Th this is just straight in there's not really much I haven't done any really great um, beat greeting the only thing I did is when I first loaded it up I put in the cue point so I'm gonna try and see if I can find a tune with um, without a cue point and see if I can load it let me see I'll try another break some break I haven't listened to yet um, I think maybe this gangster boogie one I'll try that okay so uh, load it up Oh, that one's got a Q. Let me find another one. NT, no. Mr. Magic, no. Um, Mary Mary, no. Come on. Substitution. Substitution. Right. I know I am queued that. Right. Okay. So check this out. You use the strips. I don't know how light this is. You use the strips to find the cue points. So I've got my cue point there. Then I mark it. Now it's already just in the time where I loaded this up. It's already read the average um, B, um, the average BPM of this tune. So now check this out. I'll sync up. I'll sync it up. Oh no! I'll do it before I do the sync. I'll show you it as is. Yeah, quicker. It's a bit too slow for me. Right, okay. Right. 
that's how it normally is, yeah? I'm going to sync it up. And another loop. See, see how I'm riding that? And that isn't even, that's just straight off the cuff. Obviously, I've put this into two loops. Now, obviously, because these, this is um, this is a real live drummer, you have tempo drifts, but you, what you can use is you can use um, the sliders, these um, touch strips, as a kind of pitch bend. So I'm going to try and do that now. When I find out which one's playing, hopefully, yeah. Also, you can set up effects like I have. All of this you can do just off the fly, boy. Off the fly. I'm even going to change the pitch. I'm changing the pitch, but have you noticed? It's not going out of tempo. Okay, well. Nah, nah, that was pretty awful. Well, not that, not that stuff, but obviously me waffling was pretty awful. I'm going to try and do another one, but I'm going to just put this up as a brief showing that it's definitely worth having a look at Novation Twitch, especially if you're into remixing stuff on the go and that lot in a, in a club um, setting. He says I tested it out on, um, on my regular um, night, and if you're in London, check it out. I do a regular night every Friday down at uh, Free 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 in Shoreditch, so come down and... You'll see some funky stuff. Alright, peace.